Hello guys, welcome back to another video on the Chuguna channel. Today I'm here to give you my Arsenal vs Wolves preview. Let's get right into it. The Premier League is back, and uh, we need to win this game like very badly. Because if we don't, then um, it's 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 not going to look good, is it, for, for Mikan to and especially for us as well. Like I, I know we're like only two points off a of fifth, so if we do win, then we do go to fifth place. And we're two points off a of Chelsea if they lose to Spurs. Uh, one of them is going to drop points anyway. But yeah, it's not going to be easy either. Wolves are a very very good side, and um. They've got some very good players, obviously. The striker, Raul Jimenez. Um, they obviously used to have Diego Jota. They've got the... Uh, I think it's Podence in it. Uh, I think I think that's his name. Uh, is it Podence or does he play for Leicester? I'm, I'm trying to think. Uh, no, it's not Podence. It's Neto, right? He, he's a youngster. He's very good. Um, and obviously, they do, they've got obviously Adama Traore. Um, but yeah, it, it ain't going to be easy, is it? I think they've got also Jamatinho. Um, in in the midfield, don't they? So um, yeah, uh, and obviously at the Emirates Stadium as well. The last time we beat Wolves at the Emirates Stadium was like 2012, and um, the last two seasons they've been in the Premier League, they've both ended one all draws. Could it be it's the same again? I do think though. I don't know. I'm. I mean, is it? I I'm, I'm not confident. That's a, that's the thing. I ain't confident, especially with our home form. Now, if it's last season and and you know. About and we's at the Emirates, I'll, I'll be confident. But our home form's been absolutely horrendous this season. Like obviously losing to Leicester, Villa, um, scraping wins against West Ham two one, Sheffield United two one. It's not looking good at home. So we we need to we need to change it. Like it's weird how we've been crying out for ages about our waveform being absolutely shocking, and that's been the best this season. We beat Man United at Old Trafford, and um, yeah, it's just like oh, I don't even know. But um, what I will say is, um, I am going to try and predict us winning this game. I'm going to go with a um, Arsenal victory, one nil, one nil to the Arsenal. Um, I do think it's it's not, it's not going to be convincing, and I think it's going to be a very tight game. And I do think we will win one nil. Um, in terms of our injuries, apparently Gabriel Magalhaes is injured. If if that's the case, then we are absolutely screwed. Then because um, who are going to put centre back? David Luiz, he's obviously come back from his knock um, that he had. He had another one at the Europa League, didn't he? Mustafi, I cannot put him there. Rob Holding is absolutely shocking. Sorry, he's not good enough for us, the football club. Um, Callum Chambers, this is where you need Saliba. This is why you need Saliba in the team. When our defenders get injured, put Saliba in there. See how he does. He's surely not worse than Mustafi. Um, and in terms of party and Saka, I really hope they are through. And um, yeah, hopefully we can uh, get the win. 1 0 to the Arsenal I'm going with. So let's get back to my uh, predicted line. See, starting off in goal, I've gone with Burn Leno. Uh, no one else really. Renison's not looking convincing. However, he has kept two clean sheets. But, you know, obviously, Burn Leno, main choice, has to go in there. Uh, no doubt for the Premier League game. So, um, I'm going to go with a, a back four. I do think we need to play a back four against Leeds, um, Leeds uh, against Wolves. And we need to attack, attack Wolves because they will, they will definitely attack us. And we've got to be careful. I, I, I don't want them just sitting back all the time. I want us to attack these and try and get a result out of it. Like, we did that against them... Um, at the Molyneux and we beat them 2-0 why can't we do that again back four right back Ainsley Mate and Niles um, Bellerin if I see Bellerin in my team in the team then I'll probably then we've we'll, we'll lost sorry to say Bellerin is just not good enough I'm sorry now Bellerin is not good enough Mikel you've got to play Ainsley he played against Wolves um, last season and we beat them 2-0 and he was absolutely rock solid so put Ainsley Mate and Niles there right back set centre backs I'm going to go along with the story that Gabriel is still, like, you know, fit. So I'm going to put Gabriel in there. Alongside Gabriel, I'm going down with the wheeze. He should be fine after his little knot that he had. And, uh, yeah, I think them two could work well together. The Brazilian centre-backs. Um, and then um, left-back, obviously, Kieran Tierney. Um, no choice other than Klaus, I think, still isolating anyway. Uh, and even if he wasn't, I'll still put Tierney in there all day or any day. Um... The midfield is worse. I'm just I'm thinking of changing up, changing it up a little bit. Again, I'm going to go with the story that Party is fit now, so I'm going to put Thomas Party in there. If not Party, then it has to be Granit Xhaka. Um, so I'm going to go with Thomas Party. Um, hopefully, we can come back from injury, and uh, hopefully, it, 
it wasn't that bad of injury and it hasn't affected him. Um, so I'm going to go Thomas Partey in that midfield. Alongside Thomas Partey, I've gone with uh, Danny, um, uh, sorry, Joe Willock playing alongside Danny Sab- um and then in front of them, Danny Ceballos. Um, I think Joe Willock deserves another chance, man, because against Leeds, he has to be sac- sacrificed it because Pepe got sent off. So I think he deserves another chance. I do think Joe Willock deserves a chance because, you know, he's he got sacrificed for Leeds, and I think, again, excellent in Europa League. And in front of them, Danny Ceballos, um, I, I personally, I don't rate him. He, he has one good game and then he's absolutely horrendous for the next five. He just spins around all the time. Um, so, but he's he's the only other choice. I ain't bringing back. Well, obviously, Mesut Özil will never pay for us again. Smith throws a shout, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Uh, now, now the front three is gonna change as well. Uh, we start with the, with the main striker down the middle. Abamian, uh, Lacazette is absolutely shocking, and um, Abamian has to go down the middle again. Yes, he went down, but he had no service. Um, so I think Willock will provide him that service. He will. Uh, uh, Sabayos maybe, hopefully, will actually try and do something today. Uh, uh, sorry, tomorrow. Um, that's why we just need someone. But then again, everyone says about a great, like, slobber shot in the war. People just think every, every, everything comes... You need, if, if you want creativity, it comes from the midfield every time. It doesn't. This is why we have, we need our winners. What Liverpool do? They have Robertson. They have uh, Mane on that win. They have Salah and uh, Trent. And then what they do is they um just go, go down the wins. Now, we, we can't do that because we've got Hector Bellerin playing right back, who doesn't never... Never bombs that way. He goes always direct. The only one who does is Kieran Tierney. Kieran Tierney, he's the only one who gets forward this way and gets crosses in. Bellerin runs across the pitch. He doesn't go... And he does not overlap Pepe as well. So I just think we need... A, if Maitland-Niles is there, he's done it in Europa League. He, he, he overlapped Pepe and helped him. Um, sorry, Nelson and helped him. So Maitland-Niles and then... This is my, my, on the right hand side, Reese Nelson. Willian is no, 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 no. Reese Nelson deserves it. It's, it's his chance now. Pepe's got suspended, so Nelson's chance now to prove himself. He's excellent in the Europa League. Play the same as that, and it will definitely get picked more often in the, in the Premier League. Left wing, Bakaru Saka. Tierney Saka have a good um, partnership down that win. Uh, Maitland-Niles and Nelson, they were doing, doing it quite a lot in Europa League, o- overlapping each other. So, yeah, that's going to be my front three. Nelson, right-hand side, pe- um, sorry, uh, Saka left and Aubameyang up top. And hopefully Saka's can, is fit and so is Partey. Um, so, thank you guys for watching the preview. Um, as you can see, I've changed it up a little bit. Um, let me know if you like it or not. But, um, yeah, hopefully we can get, get a win and uh, come on, you goners.